Hi, friends! Today, we will learn the similarities and differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. So let's start. All living organisms can be sorted into one of two groups, depending on the fundamental structure of their cells. And these two groups are the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes. We have learned about prokaryotes and eukaryotes. We know that organisms with prokaryotic cells are called prokaryotes, and organisms with eukaryotic cells are called eukaryotes. Prokaryotic cells do not contain a well-defined nucleus or any other membrane-bound organelle. And prokaryotes include two groups, bacteria and archaea. Whereas eukaryotic cells have a well-defined membrane-bound nucleus. Examples of eukaryotes are endless. All the plants, animals, insects, and you yourself are made up of eukaryotic cells, so we are all eukaryotes. Now, we will be learning some similarities between the two types of cells, as in prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Both prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells contain DNA as a heritable genetic material, and they can reproduce. All types of cells, as in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, are able to transcribe DNA into RNA and translate RNA into proteins on ribosomes. Both types of cells use similar reactions for storing energy and also for metabolic activities. Both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells require chemical energy for performing cellular processes. Both types of cells have a cell membrane that protects the interior of the cell from the outside environment and also allows or denies the entry or exit of substances in and out of the cell. Both have cytoplasm. All the material present inside of the cell membrane is known as cytoplasm, but the nucleus is not considered as a part of the cytoplasm. Both have cytosol. This is the aqueous component of the cytoplasm, within which all other parts of the cell are suspended. Both have ribosomes. Both have cytoskeleton, which are small bodies fairly floating inside of the cytoplasm. Microtubules and microfilaments constitute the cytoskeleton. And it's the cytoskeleton which gives shape and strength to the cell and keeps other organelles in place. Both types of cells contain nucleic acids, proteins and carbohydrates and lipids. Both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells may have a flagella, which is a long tail-like structure projected out from the cell and enables the cells to move, spin, or rotate. Now we have learned about the similarities between the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Now we will learn the differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. First of all, only unicellular organisms have prokaryotic cells. No multicellular organism can have a prokaryotic cells. They are the most primitive form of life on Earth. Whereas unicellular or multicellular organisms can have eukaryotic cells or eukaryotes can be unicellular or multicellular organisms. Fungi, algae, protozoa are unicellular eukaryotic organisms. And examples of multicellular eukaryotes are endless. All types of insects, birds, animals, and even humans are all eukaryotes. They all have eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells are smaller. Their size ranges from 0.1 to 5 micrometers in diameter. And eukaryotic cells are larger than prokaryotes. Their size ranges from 10 micrometers to 100 micrometers in diameter. Prokaryotic cells do not have a nucleus. DNA floats freely in the cytoplasm and the area where DNA floats is called a nucleoid. No well-defined nucleus or pronucleus is in prokaryotes. In a eukaryotic cell, we have a well-defined membrane-bound nucleus that stores DNA, or it has a true nucleus. Prokaryotic cells have a circular DNA, 
whereas eukaryotic cells have a linear DNA. Prokaryotic cells have no membrane-bound organelles. Prokaryotic cells are very simple, but they are still able to perform the complex functions that eukaryotic cells do. Eukaryotic cells have a cell membrane and membrane-bound organelles. These organelles help to compartmentalize the different areas of the cell for performing different functions. So eukaryotic cells are way more complex than prokaryotic cells. Transcription and translation. We know transcription is the process of producing RNA from DNA, and translation is the process where the information carried in RNA is used to produce proteins. In the case of prokaryotes, transcription and translation both occur simultaneously in the cytoplasm. And in the case of eukaryotes, transcription occurs in the nucleus and translation occurs in the cytoplasm. The cell wall is always present in prokaryotic cells. The cell wall is not present in the eukaryotic cells. Some protists and all plants and fungi have a cell wall, but not all eukaryotes have a cell wall. Prokaryotic cells can obtain more nutrients easily because it has a higher surface area to volume ratio due to its smaller size. Eukaryotic cells cannot obtain more nutrients easily because it has a lower surface area to volume ratio due to its bigger size. Ribosomes present in prokaryotic cells are smaller in size and ribosomes present in eukaryotic cells are bigger in size. Cell division in the case of prokaryotic cells takes place by the process of binary fission and cell division in eukaryotic cells takes place by the process of mitosis or meiosis. Some prokaryotic cells may have hair-like structures called pili that help them to stick to surfaces and transfer DNA to other prokaryotes. And eukaryotic cells do not have pili. Prokaryotes have a simple flagellum made up of proteins, whereas eukaryotes have a complex flagellum built from microtubules. So friends, today we have learned about the various similarities and differences between prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells.